Hi, what's up, people? This is your girl Nadia Mukami, aka Kanadia Katambe, aka Kenyan Sweetheart, aka African Pop Star, and all the good names, yeah? So, today on this episode, I'm gonna be telling you about the 2019 recap, the highs and the lows of 2019. But I can say I've pretty had a good year, yeah? It's been an amazing year. I've done things that I've never done, I've been to places I've never been to. So, it's been one of the best years of, of my career, I can say that for sure. Yeah, so make sure you stay with me and I will take you through my 2019. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because it's gonna, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit for sure. So guys, I'm gonna tell you about my 2019. Oh my God, it started off at a high note. Like I was a big break artist or in Cox Studio. I mean, who gets that on their like third year in their career and second year in the biggest year? So. That was one of the best moments of, of my 2019, being on Cox Studio as a big break act alongside the ugh, the superstars of Africa, Chelsea, Baronate from Mozambique and Jukes from Tanzania. It was such an amazing experience. I got to learn, uh, to learn a lot of things that I have been using on my career. So I can say Cox Studio has been the highest moment of my career. I mean, it's every dream, especially every young artist dream to be on Cox Studio. So I thank God that it happened in 2019 because I got to network a lot. I've been doing a lot of corporate events just because I was on, on Cox Studio and I got to do um, so much media exposure and that is one of the biggest moments of my 2019 and I can say it will forever be one of the biggest milestones of my career. Um, we got to remix uh, my, my one of my best songs, one of my favorite songs that is a smashing hit, African Lover which has <laughs> 1.6 million views on YouTube, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not bragging. <laughs> I can say, Cox Studio, I was yours. And I'm hoping to get another season on Cox Studio. So, um, around February, end of February, I released Radio Love, which <laughs> it's a smashing hit. I mean, people walk into every club and it's like, Radio Love is playing. And let me tell you something about Radio Love that most people don't know. When I released Radio Love, it didn't do well. Like, I had like 100K views in a month or something almost 200 yeah and I've thought like oh, this is just gonna be another normal song Radio Love become, became a smashing hit after when I, I announced I'm releasing Lola with Masauti that is the truth because that's when it started picking because I'm like oh there's this song that's why it's good to be consistent when you release one song uh, it pushes the next one so I can say Radio Love has been like the biggest blessing because I can say it's one of my biggest songs and one of the biggest songs in Kenya in 2019. Um, it's every artist's dream to have like a huge song, a song that people can be like, oh my God, they can relate to because radio presenters, TV presenters uh, love, love radio love so much. And club, clubs. For, oh, chairs a radio love. Oh, radio love. So radio love is one of the easiest songs I ever wrote. Like it was those songs I don't want to be so lyrical because you know most people know me for my songwriting but I just wanted to be like just easy but I didn't know it was gonna be such a huge song because it's such a big song to be honest like every artist always wants to have like a huge song on, on radio or have a hit record associated with them because most of the time we're making good songs and it takes a lot to have a hit song so Shout out to all my fans for supporting me because it's not because of me, it's because you love the song and you've made the song big. So, shout out, one of the biggest highlights of 2019. Ready your love, oh, ready your love. Oh, DJ Chesa. I know you know the song. song I'm gonna play Chesa. Ready your love. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, sometimes I always tell myself, God can give you good good stuff and give you bad stuff just to balance life because when he gives you so many good things you're going to get like egocentric and stuff you're going to be like ah i'm always used to having things easy so i had a, a little bit uh, of a setback around march immediately i had released radio love it wasn't like really getting a lot of uh, airplay i fell out with my previous management and we had a lot of back and forth in the media so many articles writing and you know how the media likes to to turn a, a, a hill into a mountain turn mount 
I, I, I can't even remember a mount, Mount Kenya into Mount Everest. Like this is like to turn stories so big. But I think it wasn't, it was just kweka msani in check, if I may use Swahili, like kweka msani in check, like just to, 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 I think a setback is meant to, to keep you grounded so that, you know, when you have everything going your way, you'll get egocentric, utafura kicho, be like, oh, I'm just used to getting things the way I want. So that is one of the biggest setbacks, I can say. And what I thank God, because I'm very prayerful. Apart from being prayerful, I'm very hardworking. Apart from being hardworking, I'm very strategic. I'm one person who's always sleeping, eating, thinking ideas, thinking plans. Um, I was able to come out of the situation strong. We sorted things out. And apart from bad press, but you know, they say publicity, publicity is publicity. So I don't think it was bad press. <laughs> but somehow, at some point it got to me because I was like, people were sending me screech notes of this being said. But, you know, as I said, after Cox Studio Radio Love, then you go down. This is just to encourage someone. Some of the things that happen to your life, it's not because at it's bad. That's how I take situations. They're made to balance life. They're made to balance you. Imagine having wins from January to January. You're just winning awards. You're on big corporate events. You just And there's nothing to humble you. So I took it as... Something to keep me grounded and, and say like, okay, I'm in this. What am I supposed to do? So I thank God and people who've supported me. Um, I turned out strong. I've heard so many people that I can big up that have been so instrumental in my career. Ngoma, uh, who handled my YouTube. I've heard Clemo from Goma. Oh, he's been so supportive. And I can say Jesse, Lydia and Dekere, and so many others. Um, I can just mention everyone here. Robert from Goma is going to kill me if I don't mention him. Right? So that setback has been just to, to keep me in check, I can say. I don't take it as, like, as a huge thing. I mean, deep problems, no, it was a setback. So after my small setback, <laughs> the happy people talking so much and not really sure of where I was as an artist, that was after a couple of, pol no, I was called to a police station once. <laughs> I was sued by the way. <laughs> Sorry for another day. Today we're about just achievements and low moments, but we take them as still as achievements. So <clears throat> after all that, I released a song that is my personal favorite this is like a lifetime song lola featuring masauti i mean we are at <laughs> one million no one million excuse me more excuse me more money more <laughs> we are at 1.1 million views on youtube featuring masauti and we were trending on twitter trending on youtube and there we sparked some conversations uh, among kenyans and because on that day that I released Lola, there was Otile Brown and Saudi Soul released one of the biggest songs. And they were like three huge songs doing so well. And this being a year whereby Kenyan music has really received a lot of home ground love. Because we, we have lived in an era whereby we used to have a lot of foreign music going on. So that was one of the things that made me like kind of stamp authority upon my brand. And just after having a, a couple of setbacks. So... Yeah, so Lola is like one of those songs where, you know, it's like after getting out of sad situation, then you buy yourself like a gift, then that ka gift. Okay, I just realized it's not making sense. But you get it, I love Lola. <laughs> then after Lola, we had Ikamatehio. Hey! As I said before, God gives you something good. Because one of the best releases I've ever heard was Lola. I was trending on Twitter, my social media guys were ugh, on top, over the edge, like... Then Kemi Kamateyo. As I said, God gives you situations just to balance life. Because Kamateyo was like one of the worst releases I've ever had. From the video shoots to the release, the song was leaked. Oh, don't even remind me. The, the video was... I don't know. The the video shoot was was great. I was sick. You know, I was just straight from the hospital. I was I had been admitted. I I, um, I have some chest issues. And just on that note, this is the year that I got asthma. Like <laughs> I'm smart. I know it's been a one one big year <laughs> full of surprises. So Ikamate here was hey no I, I, that song. But there I always put it here. I always see that song on YouTube. I'm like hmm. 
<laughs> song made me lose weight in, in, in our day. Because we get to the video shoot, all the, the, the clothes that the stylist had brought, and he knows, he knows my size are not fitting me. <laughs> the makeup artist that was doing the makeup on me had forgotten some of the products at home. So imagine it's a video shoot. Like everything just went west. But as I said before, sometimes God gives you situations or rather some situations happen in your life just to balance life. After Lola, which was amazing, it goes down. So, but I can take it as a high and low because it keeps me grounded. Because when you check the next release, you're like, this cannot repeat itself. So someone can take it as a loss, but for me, I take it as a lesson. And that is very important. <laughs> William Shakespeare, yo. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've always wanted to say that for sure. <laughs> yes, this is your girl Nadia Mukami, um, singer, songwriter, performer, poet, entrepreneur, and now vlogger, radio presenter later. <laughs> yes, this is Nadia Mukami, aka Kanadia Katambe, aka Kenyan Sweetheart, aka African pop star, meow. Okay, too much. <clears throat> anyway. So we were just doing a recap of 2019, how 2019 has been. We've had the high moments, we've had the low moments. And I think the end of something is always better than the start because you can always start from, from Kidogo, then you end Vizuri. So, okay, I just spoke like you guy, my guy kind of people. <laughs> You get it <laughs> anyway so the end of 2019 has been amazing um i thank god because i got to win an award as the best female video of the year radio la Woo! for the pmva pulse music awards so pulse music video awards so thank you so much uh this is because of my fans they voted for me and i just want to say thank you because it's been a year of hey a lot of hard work and putting in a lot of work trying to prove yourself, trying to, to set some marks behind because I always believe there's someone somewhere who's watching Nadia Mokame. There's a young girl who looks at me and be like, oh my God, I like the way she sings and I want to inspire. That is always one of my ultimate goals. So um, yeah, I won a, an award, PMVA. Man, I'm not the kind of people who just win awards. Like, for those who, know, who don't know what gundu is, Gundo ni bad luck. Swahili sani fu jamani. Mtaniweza. Gundo is bad luck. Like, I'm not saying I have bad luck, but most of the time, whenever I win an award, I'm always like, oh my god, it happened. Because I rarely win awards. I've been nominated so many places and I never win. Okay, just thought I'm talking too much again. Anyway, so I won an award and I released one of the best gospel songs this year Maombi. Maombi is such a deep, inspirational song. It's one of the songs that people listen to and get blessed. And, and it's, an, it, it's a song that was about Thanksgiving and the song that will forever be there because I really for sure showed my songwriting skills, my poetic skills. I did the poetic justice, justice thing. I thought that, that was sounded better in my head, but anyway, now that it came off, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> like the poetry was at its best. And it's a song that I wrote one day when I was broke actually. And when you're writing something, for me, when you're a poet, it's mostly like prophecy. All the songs that I've written have always come true at some point or have happened in my life. So Maombi is one of the songs that when I read the comments, like the engagement of a song is very important, even than the, than the views. I have like 2.2K comments and people are talking about how they can relate to the song. And it's, it's a song that talks about, what, let's say after you've been in some situation that you never thought you'd come out of, and you actually got out of it. And now you're thankful to God. This is all to all my spiritual brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's such an amazing song. <laughs> Pardon me. Humble, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I love, love, love Maombi, and I'm sure you do love Maombi. So make sure you check it out on this YouTube channel.
So guys, if you want to know more about me, you can follow me on my social media pages on Instagram, which I hit half a million followers, by the way. That's another milestone this year. I was like 70k followers at the beginning of this year. <laughs> anyway, follow me on Instagram, the one with, there's so many fake pages, the one with the blue tick, the verified one. Follow me on Instagram at Nadia underscore Mokami. Follow me on Facebook at Nadia Mokami and on Twitter at Nadia underscore Mokami. And so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right here, right here. Subscribe, the red button, <laughs> read and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. And most of all, make sure you like the videos, comment and give us a review of how you thought the video was and what you want us to do for you next. You know, not just music, wanna be interesting a little bit. So subscribe, subscribe. Ingekuwa binadamu wanatoa ningekosa